and welcome to Drawing with the Hannahs. I'm Hannah. And I'm Hannah. And together we're the, the Hannahs. Hannahs. Today we're going to be drawing a baby otter. Alright. For step one, we're going to draw the otter's head by making a large oval to, in the center of the page. So take your time because this is an otter's head, so... Something like that. All right, so now we're gonna add two small half circles on the top of the head for the little ears. So about like that. Then you're gonna add two smaller circles to be the inside of the ear, like that. For the body, you're gonna make a teardrop shape coming out of the bottom of the head like this, so come down, round the bottom, and then come back up and join it into your otter. Something like that. <laughs> so now we're gonna add a tail on the bottom, so make a curved one like that. And then make another curved line, but I like to add a little flip like that to make it look like it has hair on the tail. So like that. Then we're going to make the arms. So you want to start at the corner where the body joins the head and make a loop down like that. And do that on both sides. Just like that. Then you're going to make a fish hook shape like this and curve around on both sides. Now you're gonna make the little feet by just making two upside down U shapes at the bottom like that. Now you're gonna connect the two feet at the bottom with a curved line Then add a wavy line, kind of like that, all the way to the bottom of the foot. And do that on both sides. Okay. Now I wanted the otter to hold a heart, so you're gonna make a little M shape between the two arms, like that. Then on the bottom of the hands, you're gonna make a little edge that looks like the bottom of a heart. So it looks like it's holding a heart. Now to add in the face, you're gonna make two circles on the bottom of the otter's face, like this. Then you're gonna add two smaller circles in the eyes. And then two curved moon-shaped lines on the inside. Then fill in the rest of the eye. Then you're going to add the nose by drawing a thin oval shape between the two eyes just like that then pointing it at the bottom by drawing a triangle shape, just like that. Then you're gonna add a W shape for the mouth that connects at the bottom of the nose. And then I like to add three little whiskers at the bottom of the face on each side. Then to make the otter look like it's swimming in water, you can add two lines like that on each side. And then a big squiggly line that looks like a puddle around the entire otter. Then the last step is just add little squiggles in the water around the otter to make it look like it's moving. Then color it and you're done.